Louisville ISD serves about 53,000 students and I'm over the secondary campuses. So we have 15 middle schools and five high school campuses, but we also have ninth grade and 10th grade campuses as well. So what I want you to do today is, I want you to use the gizmo to rebuild the digestive system in a way that makes sense for your prior learning. We have a very, I would think, ready student population. They come to us every day very ready to learn and are very comfortable with technology. Right now, we're working within a project-based learning modality. Our students in seventh grade science are creating a redesign of the human body systems. One group, they may be redesigning the human body for a swimmer. Another group may be redesigning the human body for a mountain climber or a soldier. You have the directions on two iPads and then you have the gizmo on another iPad. The gizmo facilitates that collaboration for the students in a way that other applications can't because they can see it, they can manipulate it, and they can test their own hypotheses through trial and error within a very safe learning mode. If a piece of food is really big, it can't go through, down your esophagus. So just go small than large. And if we're wrong, then we know where we're wrong. When I see that group collaborating, I like how they are talking about, well, I'll try this, you try this, and then we'll compare. That collaboration is basically them collecting multiple trials of data and analyzing that, which is them understanding what scientists do. Place your finalized system on the smart board. I think one of the results that we see with our students is their recall. When we ask them to recall something that we've taught prior in the semester, they will often say, oh, the one we did the gizmo on, where we had this and this. It really connects it to a deeper level of learning for them, and they're able to recall it months later or when it comes down to the final exam. You need to be able to absorb as many calories as possible so they can go through a long period of time. Nice. Like normal, we're going to pair up. Somebody do the answer. Somebody run the gizmo. I couldn't tell you the exact number of years, but I've been using gizmos for several years. Really got into them when I first saw the photosynthesis gizmo. Uh, I love that one. It takes something that if we did labs for two weeks straight, we would barely be able to cover everything that's in that gizmo. It's wonderful to be able to compress that into an hour, hour and a half, which would take us two weeks. We don't have the time, and we don't have the money to do something like that. So the gizmo is really fantastic for that. Check with the water, so I'll eat concentration is 1%. What they were doing today with the paramecium homeostasis, there's data collection on there. So one of them has the answer sheet on their iPad, and the other one has the gizmo running on their iPad. And so they collaborate back and forth between the two. Toward the end, they're asked to either discuss or explain or analyze what went on in the gizmo so it does take them into some higher level stuff. Gizmos works well because it really fits into our model of uh, collaboration where students can work with others, curation where they can find the information that they need and learn whether independently or in a small group. Do you think 100% of nutrients are always absorbed? No. I would agree with that. I think it really increases the effectiveness of the teacher. The teacher can be available to extend the student's thinking versus uh, being the one to give all the information. So, system. so what happened on the gizmo because we don't have anything next? Where did the food go? They're using it to solve real world problems as opposed to just learning something in isolation. And it really gives them, within just a few minutes, the ability for it to become something that's solid in their brain they become more the owner of their learning. You just kind of point them in the right directions and tell them to go, and off they go. They absolutely love it.